Good morning guys, uh, I was supposed to be doing some grinding this morning, I was going to start grinding the bottom. Um, but I've come to go and check my, my pile of well organised stuff over on the shelf there. And I've run out of um, flappy wheels. So I've ordered some 40 grit Amazon specials that will come hopefully tomorrow. So it'll be tomorrow's job now. Pending not raining. Um, but what did come on Amazon today was my new um, hose and clamps. So what I've done this morning is cleaned the water tank out expanded you know it's, it's the braided reinforced hose so i bunged it in the kettle got it nice and soft put that on the bottom of the um water tank got that plumbed in hey guys follow my journey as i drag my beautiful old cat kicking and screaming into the 21st century uh, a lot of the jobs i'm doing completely first time i'm a complete novice learning as i go and hopefully some of you guys can learn from some of my mistakes. Some of it's worked really well. And some of it is absolute sheer craziness. But somehow I've still managed to put it off. Uh, please hit the like and subscribe button if you'd like to uh, follow my progress. Yeah, it's a little bit of a monopoly to uh, get the tank in the hole. But it's in there, I'll show you that in a moment. I've also epoxied this little return on and done the done the reveals. So I'll let that kick and hopefully later on this afternoon I'll give it all a good sand down, get this all flush and then backfill along here with epoxy and get that nice. Um, down here could be a bit of an issue with access getting to it. I'm not sure what I'm going to do there exactly yet. It's a future problem. I might have to put a little dig this out and put just a little 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 kick in or something in it like a little angle but we'll see that's a that's a that's a, that's a later problem i'll show you what i've done outside also this morning i've run up the um this little water pump so i started in a tank and put my booster pack on it to run it got it all primed got it running quite nicely but it's a 20 psi um pressure cut off admittedly I only had my finger on it but it was really pushing um, I didn't want it to <laughs> anything to go wrong so until I go back to Bogner and get one of the old whale taps I'll put that on there and see if it kicks in and out or not or we'll see if it doesn't kick out then I'll um, have to strip this down and have a look at the pressure switch but if it does I'll give it a clean up get this rust off get a little bit of little bit of paint and uh, give it a good clean up and get get a plumbed in I haven't tested the caliber fire yet that's next to my hit list but um, there's a tank in so the tanks all nice and clean um, I'll see the, the, the surfaces that I'm working on for the caliber fire and the pumps and everything all nice and clean are they perfect nope are they plenty good enough absolutely um, as you said water pump will go back down there and I'll look at the caliber fire and I'll get it all get it all plumbed in. I'll make it sound really easy. It's not, it's gonna take a long, 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 long time. Also, I need to get a couple of um, I know it's really heavy, but I'm thinking in rough seas. And there was webbing straps fitted, but obviously they had deteriorated and snapped over time. I'll get a couple of webbing straps. So there's that bit of wood that's been glassed on there to wrap it over and then screw down onto that wooden base there. Just to just to make sure I hold it into place. So I'll get all some weapon straps later and get that done. Um, and I'm undecided, the actual bilge floor there, what I'll probably do just out of a sort of perfectionism is give that a clean up and give it a lick of white paint just to make it look pretty. No other purpose other than to make it look pretty. And also I'm thinking about getting a bit of wood and just covering that exposed bit of foam there. But that's a that's a maybe job i'm already thinking about a bit too much that could be a future problem rather than a now problem where i've got bigger things to deal with but it's looking good compared to how she looked with cut laser goat and it will look beautiful i'll leave it at that cheers guys one other thing when i was looking when i was inside there was this huge vent sat on here like this which I knew was for the old gas water heat and stuff that was in there to be vented. Um, so I've pulled that vent off and that was the hole. 
it was bloody great vent and it was that so I've um, just glassed, glassed that up, epoxied it up there's no need for that and that locker in there still has ventilation because you've got one there not that it really needs it for the system I'll be using but a bit of ventilation is good for stop, stop condensation and moisture and all that stuff and completely randomly when I turned this webcam on a second ago webcam GoPro it was on about the slightest little slither of a battery I've turned it off, now I've turned it back on and it's on full battery don't get these GoPros whatsoever anyway, I'll speak to you in a bit cheers hey guys Oh, I haven't slipped and broke my neck climbing over all this stuff up and down the stairs, I've got no idea. But I'm still here. So, let's have a quick look inside here. It's gone off now. I've took off all the black plastic and stuff. So that's a nice, good, solid fix. And under there is looking pretty, pretty. Um, I'm not going to do the glass repairs just yet. Because I'm... If anyone says, ever says that Sailing Foxy Lady is predictable, I definitely am not because I should be doing that now but I've now switched fire to something else and I'll come back and do this later so I've had a look at the uh, the water system so I want I really want to run in tap on here so I've got a tap on to check the pressure because I said yesterday I think the 20 psi thing isn't quite correct on here it just keeps building 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 and it's really noisy so I've got to swap this pump out with one that was supplied with the uh, with the boat if I show you the noise difference. So this is the existing pump. Quite a noisy old beast. This is going to be the, the new replacement pump. That's a bit different. So I'm going to fit this onto there, hopefully, as long as it's all interchangeable. Hey guys, I've made a little makes makeshift system, so pick up from the, from the water tank, goes through, up, out, onto this little whale outlet pump. I'm hoping I can put it onto the booster. I'll bleed the air through, turn it off, it'll hit 30 psi and it's adjustable setting down here, so it's adjustable what time it kicks in and out. Um, yeah, see if it's a working system. Then I should be able to install this as opposed to that. Let's have a look. I'll take that as it works. <laughs> this, uh, these whale pumps have got really skinny little um, hose tails on. It doesn't get a very good purchase. I don't know if they leaked when it was on the boat or maybe it's a small diameter tube, I don't know. But it's well and truly working. Oh. Yeah, so from that. Content to uh, do away with that big noisy old dinosaur and put this in here. If it if it was interchangeable and I could put do a one for one like I was anticipating, then I would do. But it's just you know this is all a Jabsco system. This is a sure flow, so it's two completely different systems. But she's working, so I'm quite happy to put this in. Uh, I put it at a height that I can adjust quite easy, get a stubby screwdriver to adjust the, 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 um, the pressure and get it plumbed in. 
obviously I'll keep this one to a side for now. If this goes, if it's horribly wrong, I'll look at getting a new Jabsco pump, pumping it into there, checking all this, and I'll use this one. But for now, I'm gonna go with this. Okay, that's my first bit of my plumbing installed. So, out of the tank, comes down, 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 into there, boom. So now all I've got to do is, well, I can go straight from there and do all the TPC type stuff, but I want to re redo with push fit fittings as much as I can and then adapt onto these. What I'm hoping to do is, I'll have a little play later, maybe, maybe not today, but later as in in the future is get the push fit stuff to come down all the way over down through here and then put the push fit fittings onto a bit of 15 mil copper pipe and then be able to heat this up which is 12 mil and push that over the 15 mil pipe clamp it on should work but i'll do a bit of, a bit of a bit of googling later a bit of messing around um but if this video this video is probably going to be about a week and a half, two weeks out by the time I've got it out. Um, if you know of anything, we'll go some push fit to sort of hose tails, then chuck it in the uh, thing below, please, in the description below. I'm wondering if, if it's 15 mil plastic hose, if I could then clamp straight over that, or if they do uh, almost like an adapter. I'll have a look later while I'm in, I'm looking B and Q and Wicks and stuff. Here's some sort of sort of barbed hose tail adapter. But for now, I'm pretty happy with that. And the existing hose that fed um, the water pump is here, so I should be able to plumb this up. Once you snip it down, get it this nice cable management. Check the fuse board, make sure it's all suitable and got the right size fuse in it, um, and get it working. Good times, good times. Right, I'm now gonna get on with other stuff. I think I'm gonna prep to do the glass in, in the head. Um, I've gotta put the curtain rails up in the girls' room, because tonight I'm gonna to make the curtains. I need to get the quick measurements to get the sewing machine out tonight, make their curtains ready for them to stay tomorrow night. Also get their sheets off, give them a wash, because they've got dust and stuff in them. Give their room a good clean, ready, ready for them. But I'll tune in later on when I've got the, the rails up and I've done a bit, I've got a bit of progress, I'll tune in and show you what I'm up to. Cheers guys. Hey guys, I'm back in the flat now doing my video editing, catching up and all the stuff I've got the last couple of weeks. Um, that's it for now. So that's the water system this far. Uh, in the very near future, I'll look at getting all the actual plumbing done, getting it all running, the electrics, revisiting, revisiting the 12 volt electrics they're very bit old and vague at the minute. I'll probably get something working for the water system, but I will have to sort of get a newer fuse board, get it all a lot more current and efficient. But if you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button and hit the subscribe if you haven't done so already and the alerts bell and all that stuff. Um, my Amazon wish list is live now for my LED lights and stuff to make it the girls' bedroom a bit more colourful and a bit more bit more friendly from um and patrons uh the link is down below uh, a big thank you to blue dog oz for your your contributions absolutely amazing thank you mate um and all the other links for bits and bobs are down below buy me a coffee and all that good things um but yeah cheers guys have a good week see you later